Hi, it's Steve again at the All Wheels Down channel. And uh, today we're gonna do a little tech talk and we're gonna be talking about microphones. Now this microphone is a Samson CO3U USB microphone that I purchased many years ago. I think I got it back in like 2007. So I've had it for a long, long time. At the time, I think it was like $100 and it's really plug and play with the USB. Uh, so if you can find one of these second hand, uh, this is a great microphone to get started with and it probably wouldn't cost you very much now and uh, I've used it for music and for recording most of everything I've ever done on YouTube So it's really a, a very good microphone and I highly recommend it now We're going to move on to uh, another microphone that I've been using more recently Okay, next up is the Shure SM7B now, I'm sure you're familiar with this microphone. It's used by some of the most famous uh, broadcasters out there. I know uh, it's most famous maybe for the one that Joe Rogan uses. It's not a terribly expensive microphone. I think it's around $400. And though the Shure SM7B is USB, uh, you will need uh, some sort of an interface. I use a cloud lifter for the signal booster and that goes into the uh, Scarlett interface, the 2i2. And then that goes into the computer with the USB. And it's, it's, it works really good. I mean, you know, it's a, a little bit of a learning curve how to use it. What I like about it is it has a place to plug in headphones on the interface so that you can actually hear yourself, which I think that is really important. And I didn't have that previously with my Samson microphone. So I do appreciate that. I think it's a good product and probably is worth the upgrade. Uh, you can get up really close, you know, and really get a deep voice thing going, or you can get back, and it will still pick you up pretty good. It's more of a close-up type of a microphone. So that's the story on the Shure SM7B. And now there is one other microphone that I wanna show you. And finally, we have the Shure MV7. And it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's a USB microphone. But it doesn't require a cloud lifter or a, a interface or anything like that, really. I mean, you can use it that way. It has the connections on the back to use a standard microphone port to go into an interface. And it can work just almost exactly like the SM7B. So that's a good thing about it. But you don't really need the other gear if you want to just go straight with this microphone. Plus, the headphones can plug in right into the back of the microphone. And they have uh, a dial here that controls how much you hear in your headphones right on the top here. So this, this I think, is a great value. You can get a very similar sound to the Shure SM7B. Uh, again, this is the Shure MV7. And, you know, you can a similar thing. You can get up close onto it. Uh, and uh, it has a great sound to it, as far as I can tell. And... Uh, I forget exactly how much these are, but maybe I'll do an insert of an Amazon screenshot here so you can see how much these go for. But this is an excellent choice if you're on a little bit of a more of a budget. I was able to pick up all this gear uh, secondhand on Facebook Marketplace, so I feel very fortunate about that so I didn't have to pay full price. I just wanted to do a little microphone review so you can see what kind of a gear I'm using. Uh, I'm not really a tech person, but I try to use the best I can for what money I have. So if you're interested in microphones, th this hopefully was a little bit of a demonstration that would be useful to you. Oh, and one more thing, as Columbo used to say, the headphones I use, I've had these for many years. These are great. These are the Sony Professional. Uh, they're Dynamic Stereo Headphones MDR-7506. I've had these a long time, and sometimes these foam things here wear out, but you can get replacements for those very easily. These are really, really nice headphones, and uh, it gives you a true representation of what you sound like. The Sony headphones, you can get these at Sweetwater. I think those usually sell for about 100 bucks, and they are well worth it. They'll last you the rest of your life. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Remember to subscribe, and remember... Keep all wheels down.